Hello, I'm Matt. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about part two in a video series describing the Kratky Method Hydroponics where I do a live test of tomato plants. Remember from part one of this video series, I took two dwarf tomato plants out of an arrow garden and put them inside a 3.75 inch net pot which was inserted into this 27 gallon tote. Since that time, the tomato plants have grown excessively and started to flower. So, if you're curious, I'll show you what's going on underneath that lid. Notice there's no air pumps, but yet these roots look fantastic. The roots start to protrude out of that net pot and seek out the nutrient water, and as the nutrient water drops inside the tote, the roots continue to grow and get larger. The upper roots do the gas exchange functions for the plant, while the lower roots pick up the water and the food. This grow method seemed to do extremely well with warm conditions probably because the oxygen content of the water in heat does not seem to make a difference because the gas exchange is taking place in the moist air zone above the water. Over the course of the grow there was no nutrient changes and the water inside the tote began to slowly drop but the plant was maturing at a rate that would allow it to produce fruit before the nutrient was depleted. Inside the tote, you could see that the roots continued to grow down and use up all of the nutrient inside the tote. About the time the roots get to where there's no more than 10% remaining solution, the plant will terminate growth. If sized correctly, the container will allow the plant above to produce fruit before that time. Check out the size of this particular variety of tomato plant at the bottom of the web page. 18 inch spread? Well, in the cracky method, plants oftentimes get larger than what the seed packets describe. And here are my results. The plants matured, they're about 36 inches in diameter, and had hundreds of flowers and fruits on them. There you have it, a successful test using dwarf tomato plants and a 27 gallon tote.